itself. You look around you, where did we come from? How did we come here? What is the origin of us and everything around us? As Allah says in the Quran in Surah At-Tur, Am khuliqu min ghayri shay'in am humul khaliqun. Were they created out of nothing? Or did they create themselves? Allah asks two rhetorical questions. And He doesn't ask the third one because it is understood. The two questions, there are, there are three logical possibilities, right? Either there is a God who created you, or nothing created you, or you created yourselves. So Allah Azza wa Jal asks two questions and He leaves the third. He doesn't ask it because it's understood. Did they create themselves or were they created out of nothing? If neither of these two is true, then there's only one which is the truth and that is that Allah is the one who created you. أَمْ خُلِقُوا مِنْ غَيْرِ شَيْءٍ أَمْ هُمُ الْخَالِقُونَ Were they created out of nothing or did they create themselves? Now the modern philosophers and the modern Western philosophy, it follows the second question. We came out of nothing. That's what they say, the Big Bang. And then everything just evolved from there. And yet, this, this simple uh, concept that they have, it is so ludicrous, they themselves will not believe it. If you were to ask one of them, Suppose you were to see a, a run-down shack, or any, even the worst type of career, even two sticks put together. And you were to try to convince him that this came out of nothing. That the wind was blown, and this happened, and that happened, and it was formed by itself. He would not believe you. Even if he didn't see footprints, he didn't see any sign of civilization. If there was a carving in the stone, if there was a, stool or, a, a tool or instrument there, he would conclude that there must have been life here. Then why is it that when he sees life itself, he doesn't realize that there is a creator to this life? And there is a famous story of Imam Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah, that once there was a small group of atheists in the time of the Khalifa of his time, and they said, we wish to debate with you concerning the existence of God. They went to the Khalifa and they said, we want to debate with you. Send us your most powerful scholar. So the Khalifa called Abu Hanifa and he set a specific time and place and said, come at this time and place. So the other people, the atheists, they showed up at the proper time and place. Abu Hanifa was not there. And they waited for hours and hours and he didn't come. Until they were about to leave and they said, what type of scholar is this? He doesn't come on time. When they were about to leave, Abu Hanifa entered the place. So they became angry at him and said, what type of scholar are you that you don't even come on time and this and that? So Abu Hanifa said, wait, let me explain what happened. If it's a reasonable excuse, will you excuse me? They said, yes, we'll excuse you. Give us a, a good excuse. So he said, while I was coming here, I happened to come across a river and the ferry to cross the river, he, it was not there. So that's why I was late. I waited and waited and the ferry never came. So they said, Abu Hanifa, if the ferry never came, how did you cross the river? So he said, while I was waiting, I saw that the branches fell out from the tree in front of me. And they automatically came together to form a raft. And then the leaves started falling and intertwining to form rope. And then the rope just happened to come and fall and form lines of and string or, and to tie the raft together. So they started laughing and they said to the Khalifa, you expect us to believe this man? He is a madman, he is a fool. So Abu Hanifa said, who are the real fools? You or me? You who are not willing to believe that even a ship created itself and yet you claim that the entire earth and the entire creation came out of nothing. Who are the real fools? You won't believe me when I say that a, a, a raft, a ship that is not even alive, could not be created itself. And yet you claim that the entire creation was created by itself. So look at the tactics of Abu Hanifa, فَبُهِتَ الَّذِي كَفَرْ They could not respond to this, and he won the argument. But the point is, it is something so clear. As Allah says in another verse, هَذَا خَلْقُ اللَّهُ فَأَرُونِي مَاذَا خَلَقَ الَّذِينَ مِن دُونِهِ This is the creation of Allah. So show me what have those besides Him created. Where is the creation of other than Allah? As Allah says in another verse, that the, those whom you call out to besides Allah, they cannot create anything. They have not created anything. It is only Allah Azza wa Jal who is the creator. So this is the first proof that there is a Rabb. You look around you, the perfect harmony of creation. Everything is so perfect. And if any person studies any science, whether it be biology, chemistry, astronomy, physics, you can do nothing but marvel at how everything is so perfect. Simple things like the composition of the air that we breathe. Had it been a little bit different, we would not be able to survive. The water cycle, the distance of the earth from the sun. Look at how if we, during winter and, the, and summer, how the difference of the seasons is. And this is only the difference of, I think, 
between the summer and the winter. Imagine a few hundred miles, a few thousand miles, we would not be able to live on the face of this earth. Everything is so perfect. No matter what science you look into, it came out of nothing. As Allah says, Am خُلِقُ مِنْ غَيْرِ شَيْنْ أَمْ الْخَالِقُونَ did they create themselves or did they, did they come out of nothing? No, it is rather the third and that is that Allah Azza wa Jal created us.